Blessing Saints, it's Thursday. The week is flying by, and uh, before we know it, Easter Sunday will be here. I sure hope that you're doing well. Iris and I have been praying for you, thinking about you, making as many phone calls as we can, as have Dave and Linda, and I know Barb and Ian and Gisela, and I've heard from so many of you that you're phoning your friends and you're staying connected, and that's awesome. I want you to know that if something uh, is, is happening in your home front or you've been laid off or you've got a prayer request, please touch base with us. You can phone the church, 780-481-2244, and leave a message, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Or you can send us an email if you've got the email from the church. It's on one of those old bulletins that is tucked inside your Bible. You can go to the web page and connect to us that way, and there's a, a place where you can send an email to it. But we just need to stay in touch, need to stay in prayer for each other. I know from time to time some of you send me an email or a text message and just let me know that you're thinking about us and praying for us, and that really does mean a world, and it, it matters to all of us. So keep doing it. Phone your family, give them a virtual hug, and let them know that you love them more than ever. Yes, yesterday I, I talked about the uh, disciples' response to being locked up in jail overnight and then called in front of the Sanhedrin and how that they were being rebuked for praying for this crippled individual and God healed him and now the Sanhedrin were upset because of their preaching Jesus and this miracle being wrought and they were commanding them to stop preaching in the name of Jesus. And the Bible tells us that Peter and John said, well, we can't do that. We have to obey God, not man. And so the Sanhedrin didn't know what to do with them, so they warned them one more time not to preach in the name of Jesus, and they let them go. And immediately, Peter and John went back to the prayer meeting that was ongoing. And they told everybody at the prayer meeting what had happened, and how they had been rebuked and locked up and thrown in jail overnight, etc., and told not to preach in the name of Jesus. And then they entered back into fervent prayer. And after a while, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit descended on them afresh with great outpouring of power and fire. And the Bible says the place was shaken, and uh, they were all filled with the Holy Spirit as the, as the power of God was poured out upon them. And then when you follow on a verse or two later, it says in verse 33, with great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. I think that's so interesting because again, they continually come back to the resurrection. Church, there's nothing more important to us than the fact that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. Had he died on the cross, for our sins, that would have been wonderful. But if he hadn't ra been raised from the dead, it would have been in vain. But he didn't stay in the tomb. He didn't languish in hell. The Bible tells us, and we know even from personal experience, that Jesus Christ is alive and he lives within. Thank God for Easter. Thank God for the resurrection. Tell your family, your friends, and your loved ones, Speak to yourself about it often, meditate on it, and realize that because Jesus lives, we can live also. This is Easter. This is where we get our hope from. This is what we tell people when they want, ask us how we're getting through this. We're getting through it because of self-determination and the power of the Holy Ghost and the power of the resurrection. Jesus has conquered a lot bigger problems than what we're facing. And as a result of that, and as a result of the resurrection, we have hope. God bless you. Keep in prayer and get ready for Easter. Invite your friends to go on the webpage and download the Sunday morning service as well. And Let's see how many people we can have at church, virtual church, on Sunday morning.